Welcome, 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 everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall and the other half of Cryptids Creations. And this is your weekly energy foresight for May 13th through the 19th, Monday through Sunday. For the month of May, we are working with the Psychic Tarot Oracle Deck, and that is by John Holland. And for this week, Monday through Sunday, or May 13th through the 19th, the card that came through is Partnerships and Alliances. And the message from the card is, look for signs, symbols, and synchronicities, paving a path to form collaborations this week. Remember that forming communities and companionships are always a chance to exercise your give and receive muscles. Keep the cooperation energy alive and well by allowing the flow to be as balanced as possible. Like we talked about last week, the idea of a lot of earth angels and people that work in the spiritual field. And that can be like doing massages, Reiki, um, crystal healing, whatever that may be. And just people in general, some people don't like to receive. They'll give, 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 give until their batteries have worn down so much that they've made themselves sick or very tired. Um, But that is because we haven't received. We're not allowing ourselves to even receive from Mother Gaia. The filling up of our energy battery, of our batteries, of our own being from Mother Gaia or Father Sky. We're not even receiving from nature itself. So it's no wonder that we get so down and not able to function properly. We get kind of foggy brained because our energy is not at tip top shape. <laughs> so the idea that we are going into is this whole idea, same as last week, of um working our give and receive muscles, our getting and receiving, our giving and getting muscles. So we try to make it as balanced as possible. At least that's how it should be. There should be kind of an, an kind of an even energy exchange when we work with others. Um, you get a massage and someone else gets money. You get Reiki and the other person gets a reading. So there's kind of a, a similarity between the two, something that kind of feels like a collaboration, something where we're working together um, harmoniously to create that balance. And the giving and receiving should be kind of in an equal stance in a spiritual aspect. Now, some people feel um, even bartering is an is a kind of a quality of um, that giving and receiving, and that's great. And just remember to have this idea of collaborations and um, working with partnerships and alliances. We want to work with people that we trust. And um, when we do that, a lot of times being able to talk about um, what it is that you're willing to give and what it is that someone else is willing to give of their own and that you're going to receive what the other person is going to receive. Um, working in that manner creates that sense of balance and um, it put you into the um, giving and receiving mode so that Everybody is on board. Everybody is on the up and up. Everybody's understanding what they're getting and receiving. Um, and then things can move swiftly and beautifully, easily and effortlessly. And it's when we don't communicate um, what we're willing to give and um, what the other person's willing to give and what you're really willing to receive and what the other person's willing to receive when the balance is not there and then it creates heartache and resentment and all sorts of not good stuff. So we can really um, work in this manner. And it may be that uh, we you've been trying to do this and it may be a little bit um, 
difficult, but as you do that, your giving and receiving skills are just going to skyrocket. And this is exactly what this week is all about, is learning to use those muscles, learning commun- learning to communicate effectively, and that way everyone can be in that balanced state and have their inner, their batteries energized all the way to the top. All right, for midweek and end week, I decided to work with Angels and Auras Oracle Deck. And for midweek, and midweek is Monday through Thursday or May 13th through the 16th, the card that came through is in reverse, Guardian Angels, white. And the message from the card in reverse is vulnerable, cluttered, shadow, confusion. Now, if you've watched my videos before and you've seen me working with the cards, you know I don't do reversals very often. I view the tarot as being a journey and it has both positive and not so great cards. So then, you know, you don't really need to do reversals. For some people, the reversals are a big deal, and that's great. For me personally, I don't really work a whole lot with reversals. However, if the cards themselves have the ability to um, see where this is what the reversals mean, then by all means, I'm not going to go against the cards, right? (laughs) They're coming through for a reason in the manner that they come through. And for this card to come through in reversal, it really kind of validates that what we're going through is a bit of mental confusion, such as last week as well. It is um, when we are in that state of not really knowing and not feeling comfortable with our, you know, sharing our gifts, our messages and talents, there's a vulnerability to that. And when we go into a partnership or a collaboration, working with others, sometimes it can feel a little scary and then we shut down. We either don't go to the meetings that um, we're needing to go to to collaborate or we just don't answer the calls. There's a whole lot of stuff that goes on, right? And it may not even be something that you decide to do, right? It may just happen and it happens for a reason. It's because you're worried, you're scared, you're unsure. And that change is very, it makes you feel very vulnerable. Um, This idea of the shadow as well, this is one of the shadows, right? We don't trust our own gifts and talents. We don't feel worthy. Um, There's a whole bunch of shadowy stuff that goes along with um, wanting to wanting to believe what you're doing, but yet not sure. And what's funny is, is if we do allow ourselves to collaborate, to work with others and to do these things, that would just be just mitigated. It would just go away. It would just not no longer exist. It would just melt right away all of that fear and um, unworthiness and all that stuff would just go away. It's just going through that door. It's just going and doing, even if we feel scared, just doing it and knowing that, you know what, whatever happens is what happens. And to get good with a skill or a talent or message, we really need to practice practice and practice some more. So this is actually just opening so many wonderful doors, not only to the idea of releasing and letting go of those shadow things, but also to um, acknowledge your vulnerabilities, to really work with them. They're your greatest asset sometimes. And when you practice your skills and your talents and your messages with others, it puts so much confidence in what you are trying to do that it just really blows the doors wide open on what is possible. So allow yourself to move through this beautiful time. Put that beautiful white light, that divine white light within and allow it to shine forth because you are a lighthouse for others to do the same when you do that. 
All right. And for end week, and end week is Thursday through Sunday or May 16th through the 19th. And the card that came through is energy healing. And the message from the card is holistic, well-being, thriving, vibrant. I love this card. Validation that when you do <laughs> what the beginning card is asking you to do, this is what happens. Your energy, that old shadowy stuff is healed. It is completely eradicated. And the thing that is left over is that beautiful white energy within. Now, there may be some, you know, going back and forth. I know it's difficult to change. And if we don't keep practicing these skills that we're wanting to learn, um, be, do, or have, then a lot of times we get back into that idea of um, being scared and being vulnerable. Again, maybe a reading didn't go the way that you wanted, or maybe the person that you were doing Reiki on said they didn't feel anything. And there's a whole bunch of things that can happen, right? Maybe a goal that you were trying to achieve in your um, chosen career didn't work out exactly as you planned. So then we go, I'm never doing that again. But we are supposed to do that again. This is where we're trying to get. We're trying to put ourselves in the space of this new being, of this new world, of this new life that you're, you're envisioning for yourself. And to do it, we have to get through it. We have to go through the motions. We have to practice. We have to change. We have to do and be and have things that we may never have even thought of. But now it's it's the time. <laughs> so this energy healing that's coming through is a beautiful card at the end of the week to validate what you have done so far is what you should be doing and keep up the good work. All right. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I so appreciate it. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. And if you would like a free one card reading for yourself as well, I would love for you to join us on the Facebook group, the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Study Hall. It is free and each week at noon Pacific Standard Time, I will go live and pull cards and give you a mini reading for the week, all for your individual energy. Take care and I will see you next week. As always, I'm sending you so much love, angel light, and tons of gratitude. You take care and I will see you then. Bye-bye.